Hi everyone and welcome to episode three of The Heart Space. Today, as you can see, I have the beautiful Alicia filling in for Alina today because Alina went into early labor um, about a week and a half ago and she gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. So her main focus at the moment is on her family and healing um, with her and her baby. And Alicia was kind enough to step in for her. I'm so grateful to have her here today. She, like myself, is awakened to the fuckery that is happening <laughs> around the world and in New Zealand. Um, and she has been on social media just you know sharing her opinion with people a true freedom fighter she goes to a lot of the rallies around New Zealand um, so you may recognize her and so she's here today to talk about um, her experience and how she awoke to what's happening um, so in a moment she is going to introduce herself and talk about how she awoke to the corruption taking place around the world right now. So, hi, Alicia. How's it going? Hi. Hi, good. Thank you. And thank you so much for thinking of me to fill in for Elena. Um, no worries. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here. So, do you just want to tell everyone a little bit about yourself <clears throat> and your story of where it all began and how you started to learn what was happening. Okay. <clears throat> okay, well, kia ora whanau. My name's Alicia. Um, so where do I begin? <laughs> it's been a journey. Been a journey. Um, <clears throat> so, so I'm based in, just so just a little bit about me. So I'm in Auckland, New Zealand. Um, and, yeah, I... Um, I started waking up, um, my journey sort of began because I bought my mother a smartphone. And um, I bought my mum a smartphone and uh, very soon after that, she went down the rabbit hole real quick. Wow. Um, this was back in 2016, 2017. And, like, you know, I was so busy just living in my little world. Just, you know. We're, yes, I was we all were, right? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Completely. Um. But, you know, I, I <laughs> my mom was, like, completely glued to her phone and then she was just, like, you know, I'd just come into the room. She's, like, the global elites, the new world order, like, all this stuff she started talking about, like, they. I'm, like, who's they? What's going on? Like, what are you talking about, mum? And I'm, like, <laughs> so I started calling her a tin forehead and all sorts. Yeah. Like, I did the leg and everything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was for quite some time. And then um, there was an incident that happened, um, and this is just before 2020. I think it might have been the uh, Christchurch. The, oh, Christchurch yes, the, shoot the shooting? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and, um, and you know, my mum had quite a lot to say about that, um, and I wasn't really understanding what red flag meant, false flag, like all these things that she was talking about. But then it sort of all started to make sense. And then she, like, I actually decided to sit down and listen to her to see what the heck she was talking about because I'm like, okay, mum, you're on some next level <laughs> shit. I don't understand. Yeah. Like, so I literally, she was sitting in the armchair. I'm like literally sitting there like a student, teach me. So, like, she took me down some pretty uh, wild rabbit holes and it was really hard for me to grasp. Um, it would have been, but, yeah. Yeah, like my like you know, my mum's my guru. Like she's down at every avenue you could even think of. Like, <laughs> and um, I I went down there pretty quick, but it was still hard for me to grasp. I was still in the space of trying to trying to get get the bigger picture, like the, the whole because it's it's so complex. It really is. Uh, yeah. Um, and she said something big's coming in twenty twenty. Something big. And I was like, okay, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then she, um, there was the whole Wuhan outbreak. Um, then we were seeing footage from over in Wuhan and all that kind of stuff. And she said, here it is. And oh. so, you know, as, as we all know, um, you know, that hit pretty hard here in, in 2020 and we went into our lockdown. Um, I was already qu quite aware of what was set in motion it, before it happened so um I was just sort of sitting back and watching but everything my mum said was coming true wow. and I, I 
Yeah. Yeah. And I literally, like, you know, when so- <laughs> she's not sitting there with a little glass ball and, you know, <laughs> yeah. these predictions. she's just saying, this is going to happen. This, 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 watch this space. And I'm like, okay. So sitting there watching the space, I'm like, holy crap, mum, you're right. Like, how do you know? So, yeah. So she's just like, she sort of started teaching me how she knew where her sources were, da, 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 da. And, and, and it was just amazing. And by, so I started listening and I started really paying attention. Um, and it's been a journey. Holy crap, it's been a journey. Um, it would have been. And how do you think yeah. your mum came across this online? Do you have any, has she told you? Yeah, I asked mum, okay, this is the weirdest part, okay. So she got in quite into YouTube. And um, she was just YouTubing all sorts of things. And <laughs> I said, Mum, how did it start? And she goes, <laughs> she goes, Paul McCartney from the Beatles. Oh. I was like, what? How old do you mean? And she goes, <laughs> she goes, well, I was looking at Paul McCartney, you know, just looking back in history and all that kind of stuff because she likes history. And then there was like, you know how you've uh, it sort of has um, on the side on YouTube, it's got the playlist and it will just play or have like something selected. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there was the conspiracy of Paul McCartney, whether he died back then or not. So there's this whole conspiracy there. So she delved into that. And then she goes, hmm, started delving. And because she went on that, the algorithms picked up what she was. That's right, yeah. Started, like, spouting out all this other stuff, like, to do with, like, you know, everything, everything that's going on, like, the wow. you know, deep stuff politicians Washington like what's going on it's um, almost like one of those serendipitous things you know you guys buy her a smartphone and then you know that happens and then it just <laughs> you know rolls on yeah. from there and did she because did she manage to um because you've got siblings too is that right you've got some I've, I've, I've got one little sister yeah yeah oh, so okay. she Huge is she aware difference. of this stuff, like at her young age, or is she just not really caring about what the adults are yeah, talking no. about? She, she is aware of it, um, but she doesn't, like, she's not, I mean, she's not so vocal about it, but she's yeah. like, she, yeah, like, I mean, because she's only started intermediate this year, I think, but it wasn't last year, but the year before. Um, she came home and she was like, everyone's talking bad about Trump. <laughs> oh, my son was the same. Yeah, he's about 12 and he yeah. he was the same and he didn't understand it because we were like big Trump supporters in our household and it was his yeah. teacher who was a Canadian just bad-mouthing yeah. him. And he was like, thank God Biden got in. And I was like, oh, my, I just felt so sorry for him. And he's like, I just said to him, like, don't say anything about Trump because, yeah. like, I don't want anyone bullying him. Yeah, that's the same with, yeah, that's what we did with my sister as well. So, like, I think, yeah, she, she kept a lot in. But, like, I, it was like, you know, when, when she came home, like, it was like, we were, we were free. Like, you know, <laughs> we must be such a different household. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just wrecked in for the floor around our whole house. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> Same here, girl. Same here. But yeah, it's like, yeah, so yeah. where did that lead you once you awoke? And like, what did you start? Did you start doing your own research to mm. confirm what your mum was yeah. saying? Yeah. So, um, as <clears throat> I think this was just before our lockdown, actually. Um, I, you know, I was still curious. I needed to look at it myself. I'm, I'm quite a visual person. So, something can be put like, you know, visually and explained thoroughly then I can, I can really, like, you know, understand what that all is. So I found this great, it was three hours, great doco on, and see, YouTube, people say, oh, don't go to YouTube for, you know, that's all blah, 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 like, it's not even fact, it's misinformation. Well, actually, it's not, like, oh. you know, people go to YouTube, like, how to fix a lawnmower. <laughs> like, people yeah. go to YouTube for all these other things, but it's not okay to look at this stuff. So anyway... I was looking at that, and um, David Ike came up, and it was um, I can't oh, remember what it was one. Yeah, yeah, and it explained it literally from beginning right through to the end. So this is like going back to the banking system, like and how, oh. yeah, yeah, like you know the richest families in the world, and it was it was great because it had the visuals of how it's all 
it all works. Like they put it up into like a pyramid, like pretty much. And they said, here is at the top. They don't tell what's happening at the bottom, but da, 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 da. da. And it was like, oh, okay, those are the elites. Mm. That's, you know, so it started to the puzzle, the pieces of the puzzle started to fit. Um, and so from there, um, I just started paying attention to everything else. And um, I was a little bit, I was too afraid to speak about shit on my own Facebook because I was scared about being ridiculed. And my mum mm. was like, no, I don't want you to be ridiculed and stuff and so what I did was I started um my own Facebook group called Stay Woke Movement oh, cool. <laughs> I like, yeah I was like you know what like I'm gonna make a whole new page <clears throat> I'm going to you know this is for people that um need to express all this stuff they yes. want to talk about this stuff um they want to share the information because back then we weren't censored like we are now no it was pretty good in 2020 yeah we could (laughs) still google stuff and it would come up now everything's been blocked and censored yeah yeah so it's a lot harder to do the research now oh yeah it, it really is um so back then it was awesome because like we yeah, I was able to get the information. My mum, as I said, she's my guru. So she was on that page too. And she was just like plastering information and people were starting, you know, there was quite a few people that were starting groups, but, you know, we're all delving into each other's groups, grabbing each other's information, just blastering it. And so, yeah, it grew. That group grew. Um, and it was the first time I've ever moderated, like been an admin of a, of a group page, but I just wanted to start something that, it, it just the truth needed to come out. Like it, needed it was to needed started. at the time too for people to not feel crazy and feel like they're not alone. So a lot oh, of those no. groups that started circulating on Facebook was a haven for a lot of people, so they wouldn't feel so crazy. Yeah, yeah, and and you know because there were times where I just sit back and go, maybe I am wrong, Mum. Maybe you are wrong. Maybe we're wrong. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> we'd sit there for a little while and then we'd be like no because it's all it's it all makes sense too it makes sense but then you know we could be confirmation bias you know mm. we could be on i thought oh maybe we're just like being biased to our own you know oh that seems to fit because like you know people only see what they want to see so people can make anything fit if they really want to yeah so yeah so just over time i I started to gain confidence because months and months had passed and I was just like, shit, like everything we're saying is actually happening. Like, you know what? I'm not afraid anymore. So I started speaking out on my own uh, Facebook page. Um, At that point, like I didn't know many people that were on the same sort of, I knew enough people, but not in like, uh, there's a whole tribe of us now. Yeah. (laughs) It was just a little handful. So, you know, um, I was basically speaking to the people that had been on my Facebook for such a long time and they were just like, what the hell is this shit going on about? Um, And I think I did a video. I was really pissed off at Jacinda. Like, Mm. I was so pissed off. I went and did a video. It went viral. It went all around the world. Um, I drove down to just a local park, had my dog in the car with me, and I just needed to vent. I needed to get it out. Like, I just wanted to just, I just needed to, yeah. She just pissed me off so much. And this was back in 2020. And anyway, so I just, I spoke from the heart, though. I spoke from the heart. Um, It was pre-recorded. I didn't have any balls to go live. Like, I was pre-recorded, and I posted it, and it just got shared through the groups, and it went viral. Wow. And... And I'm not saying that in an egotistical way, like, oh, it went viral. I mean, like, it was just great because then I got to connect with people all over the world. It's about the same too, yeah. It's about the same. So it wasn't just me. It wasn't just us here in New Zealand. There were a lot of people globally that could see what was happening. And so that's when I started to, you know, be like, holy crap, like, this is the mass awakening. This is this is the this is the awakening, uh, and this is the huge shift of consciousness in, the, in this world, and it's <clears throat> massive, and it's an exciting time to be alive. It is, it <laughs> is. Even though all this, you know, 
corruption is coming to light and you know I must say when you first wake up it's a little bit scary because you like you question everything you kind of start looking at your life and how you know we've been programmed in a certain way and you know it things started to fall away for me when I first woke up like the things that I used to love and be into I just didn't care about anymore there's so much more important things going on so it it's just like they say, the veil has been lifted, you know, and it's not just a handful of people. This is worldwide. There are people yeah. protesting um, around the world with the same belief and who are seeing what we are. Like in some aspects, we are on the essentially on two different timelines. You have those who can see through the bullshit and those who are still living the lie, you know, just simultaneously living side by side in two yeah, alternate yeah. realities. I know. Yeah. And it's crazy. It's crazy because, <clears throat> like, yeah, I, I've, I've been, um, like, last year, so I'll, I'll just let people know here. So I was a student throughout this whole time as well doing a degree. Wow. Um, I was actually doing my counselling degree. Um, so it was huge. And I started in 2020. So this all happened. Like I was trying to be a student, do yeah. my assignments, do everything oh, yeah. at the same time, as well as like going through this mass awakening myself and think, honestly, I had so many breakdowns. I yeah. I, 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 I did. I did. And I, and I, it prob- I probably looked mentally unstable. You can call it what you want to call it. But like the veil had been lifted. And I remember crying to my mum like so many times, like, what the hell is the point? Like, mm. what? what's the point in doing this? Like, I don't even know where we're going to be. Like, I was just, psh- and it was really hard. Like, you know, as you said, like the veil was lifted, things that you were interested in, no longer interested anymore. There was bigger things. So, you know, and you've got people that are living, we are, we're in two separate timelines, but in a parallel. Mm. And last year I was on my student placement and it was very hard because I was like so like awake to what's happening. I can just and, imagine, yeah. Yeah. And every morning they would talk about what's on the news, all the COVID cases, blah, 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 blah. And I'm sitting there like, oh, and just God, having like, to be quiet and not being able to speak, express your truth. Eh? It's. Yeah. And I, and I actually felt this. I was, yeah. I was like, holy shit, we are in like two timelines right now, but yet in the same. I don't know how to explain. We're like in the same room. You're on that timeline. I'm on this timeline. It's buggered. <laughs> it's <just> so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it I is, come so. home, like, oh, and I just come home, talk to mom or like, you know, like other freedom fighting friends, like about your safe is. space. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. And kudos yeah. to you, like, for going through, because you, you mentioned to me off camera when we had our discussion that you had to um, stop your studies because of the mandates. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Um, so we all know that the mandates here in New Zealand um, like took place last year. People were no jab, no job, like all that stuff started to come into play. Um, so, yeah, we were told that um, to go on student placement, because we're in the health health sector, uh, we'd have to be jabbed to get placement. And I'm just like, I started freaking out. But then I found someone, a psychologist that was actually, she's, she was awake like us, and she was willing to take me on as a student. And I was like, amazing. Um, so I spoke to um, the institution I was at, and um, they were like, no, you still need to be jabbed, um, da, 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 da. I was like, what the hell? This doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. And then to be on campus, we need to be jabbed. And, you know, we it's an online course. Like, mm. this is an online learning um and we only go into course twice a semester for a whole week and I'm like why should I get myself jabbed with this experimental (laughs) Mm. genome training therapy like blah 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 like you know it's it's still on trial just so I can come in and do this and and I thought I'd be able to bypass it but no to stay enrolled this was the final push for me to stay enrolled we had to be jabbed and that was it for me. I was just like, no, I was like, about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know what? Bugger it. Mm. No, it must, it's not meant to be. Um, I was quite shitty about it. I've come, <laughs> come into a new place of acceptance now. 
um, my my journey is just beginning again, and I'm excited as hell <laughs> where I'm going. <laughs> oh, absolutely! And I feel like too, you know, things happen for a reason, eh? And you know, the fact that we can be sitting here having this conversation, like. Before I started all this, I was so introverted. I would not go on Facebook and speak my mind at all. But it's just, you know, not only did I go through the awakening of what happening, like I've, I've awoken to who I am, you know, and I think mm-hmm. a lot of people have that have gone through this awakening have really yeah. woken up to their soul purpose or they're on yeah. the brink of it, you know, or just working their way through it. And it is like we're elevating as like a species, as humanity to, you know, a higher vibration, you know, because yeah. when you look at how the world is functioning and how we live day to day, it's not right. You know, the way we treat one another, the mm-hmm. way a lot of people within society are segregated through like class and race, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. we've just got to look beyond that. And I'm, I'm so excited for the future because this is what we're, we're not, we're bringing all this shit up and then we're going to just think, okay, what do we need to do now? You know, like the government systems aren't working the way that it's been operating and how they're all linked and there's people behind our um, leaders that are controlling them. And it's evident when you go down the rabbit hole and you look at who owns the world and who owns everything, like BlackRock and Vanguard, it's, you know, it's all there. So we just, yeah. <laughs> and that's why we me and Alina started this platform you know I'm hoping that Alina can come back and it can be a threesome it's the three of us (laughs) because um (laughs) you know the more the merrier and to welcome into this conversation into the safe space where we can you know just vent once a week and get this off of our chest of what's been going on and 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 bring in a new conversation that isn't being taken place in the mainstream media. So at the moment we had, oh, well, last week we had our mandates drop. What are your thoughts yeah. on that? How did you feel? Um, yeah, I didn't feel any different. Because <laughs> the mandates, and this is just, I'm just going to speak from the eye, my opinion, um, just after how everything's been playing out, it's just been a psychological game. Um, oh. they, the mandates were always going to drop. Um, it was always it was always a part of the plan. I think it's called uh, something like lockstep. Um, so the, the digital ID that people were getting, so the Vax Pass, that yeah. is their new digital ID to go into the social credit system because yeah. everything's going to go digital. And you just need to look at China and how that's rolling. And you've got to look at, like, you know, how we're rolling, we're in the back pocket of China, we, we're mm. signed into the United Nations. Um, this is just a part of the agenda. And so I was like, oh, well, that's the inevitable. And the reason why they mandated it, in my opinion, is because they wanted as many people um, vaccinated so that yeah. they could get people into that digital ID system. Now that, and it's all, every, every um, uh, QR is different and it, when you scan it your name comes up your mm. patent now. the government yes. now truly own you it's patent and you know i want it's to avoid scary. <laughs> no way. it's scary to think that people and people don't see it like i've had this conversation with my parents neighbor that are the elderly so they're very stuck in their ways and they're just in the supporters and i kind of brought up mm-hmm. the china thing you know that we're leading that way to a, a social crediting system and he laughed at me like he just thought i was mm-hmm. bonkers and it's like you know it's if people can't see the the track and trace it's just like they were practicing to see who was complying who would participate who the rebels are like ourselves mm-hmm. um, <laughs> I'm so proud to and to everyone yeah. else that's been standing up and going to these yeah. protests you know Definitely. because there is something bigger taking place we all see it we're all trying to you know wave the red flag for you know for two years and have people ridicule us and put us down and even yeah. though like the crazy thing is everyone is catching supposedly COVID at the moment. We'll just say that for now. I, I myself got really sick. 
Yeah, um, my husband got it. He actually did a test and it came out positive. And I had the same symptoms. So I, I was like, yeah, I have it. I'm not going to do those bloody tests, but I know mm-hmm. I have it. And here I am as living proof, you know, that it was a cold. Was it a really bad cold? Yes. You know, I'm not going to downplay it. And I would say if someone elderly or with underlying health issues caught this, they would have some problems with it and maybe need to be hospitalised. But the everyday person with a healthy functioning immune system can fight this at home with lemon and honey. Like the way that we have been gaslighted and manipulated to think that this is something far worse and that could lead to death and people dropping dead, that needs to be brought to the forefront because we're all catching it now and people aren't dropping dead. And we can't say, oh, you know, it's because we're vaccinated because the unvaccinated have got it and they have had the same, if not similar, symptoms as the ones who were, you know. So I I have a friend who has had all three shots and she was on social media speaking out about how glad she she was to have the three shots because she caught COVID and she said that it would have been far worse if I didn't have my three shots. And I don't I was just, like, yeah, yeah it no, is I'm funny like, though, way eh, that they <laughs> have been brainwashed. They really, there's no other way to say it. They've been brainwashed to think this way. And I, I was like, well, I had it and... I, I'm fine, you know, and I want yeah. you know that I'm not vaccinated. And yeah. I just feel sorry for the ones that just can't see it. it, despite all of this happening right now, like everyone catching it. And, if, and like if these mandates were put in place to protect us, why the hell is Jacinda dropping them all in the midst of us all catching it? That doesn't and make sense. Yeah. The cases are the highest they have ever been. Yes. Ever. And, like, yeah. it's funny because people were panicking, running around like headless chickens. Like, last year even when we had, like, five cases in the community, they're like, oh, my God, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> now, like, now everybody else is just like, oh, yeah, just, like, floating about, like, just doing their thing. Like, I mean, it's just like, huh? What? Like, are people, like, it's like, are those people that were freaking out about it, like, in the last couple of years, like, are they now just like, yeah, yeah. They're over it. Like, are people over it just in general now? Like, it's not freaking people out as much. I don't see hysteria no, anymore. No, no. I don't see, like, you know, I and I used to go through and read all the, like, comments in the media, but, um, you know, when they put it out on One News and all that kind of stuff, and I'd read the comments. And, I mean, there's been a huge turn. It used to yes. be like, a whole big, big turn. But the, the hysteria, people aren't as panicked now. I think people are just more relaxed, and it's like, even if those are the jab people and stuff, they seem to be a lot more relaxed now, whether they've got comfort in the jab, even though the jab is still getting it. I don't know what it is. I just People just seem to be more over it. I think, I too, know. at the beginning, like when it first came out and because a lot of us have never been in a pandemic, we were all conforming. Like even myself, I was wearing a mask and I was I didn't want to catch this virus that was going around. Um, but as time has, has gone on, like you said, and we haven't seen people dropping dead in the streets, and then we've learned about the news and how they manipulate images. Like a lot of the images that we saw of, um, I think there was one particular case with people dropping dead in India. That was from a gas leak, and that was proven yeah. with old footage. Yeah. And we're even seeing it now with what's happening with the Ukraine and how that narrative has been pushed out. And, you know, I watched a, um, I, I, I watched this guy called Nicholas Veniamen on BitChute, and he was speaking to a, an English guy who was able to bring up the images they've been using in the newspapers around the world for the UK war and tracing them back to other wars or other crises that have taken, taken place. And he showed the, the proof. The proof is in the image and he had the date of what and what other newspaper around the world because how they get away with it is, um, I think, did you share the image of the firefighters from Australia? Yeah. 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 But that's, they yeah. can get away with it because, you know, if you live in the Ukraine or, you know, 
that part of the side of the world, you're not going to be watching the Australian news, so, you know. So they can yeah. use images from other parts of the world and other parts mm -hmm. and vice versa. Yeah, so and it's also just I've noticed people, people are easily, easily forget. They're mm. really easy yes. to forget. Like, I've noticed, like, you know, over the last couple of years, the media will say one thing one week and about, maybe about three weeks to four weeks later they'll say something totally contradicting, get the masses buy in, bought into it. I'm like, ah, like, don't you just uh, go back a little bit. Yeah. Like, I said that this would never happen. Three weeks later it's happening and you guys all, like, come on, think, use your brain. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's bluntly, but, like, I mean, I was frustrated. Like, you know, people are so quick to forget and um yeah i think, I think they rely on that eh? they were like that's what that's how we've been set up where we live in a society where we're being rushed off our feet you know we're busy with work we're busy with our children and you know our extracurriculum activities that we don't have time to think back to three weeks to what the news anchor said so they rely on it they've built a system where we're so hurried and rushed mm -hmm. and like we were discussing before we got on camera with social media, everyone has a short attention span. And I'm guilty of that too. Yeah, same. <laughs> it's the day and age we live in. Yeah, so yeah. there's so much, so many layers too. Like we could talk about this for hours because there's so many layers, so much corruption happening around the world. But to wrap things up, where do you think um, things are heading with this mandate in terms of do you think that they – will be brought back in to play, do you think? Do you think should, or will it be brought up in, like you were saying, a social crediting system in another form? I'm honestly, like, you know what? I don't have an answer. I'm not too sure. Mm. Um, it's, it's kind of a bit like where things are going. Sorry, my, you probably hear my dog. It's all right. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I think way. I saw you put a post on about that or a meme or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm not too sure where, like, what's going to happen with the mandates as such. Um, but I mean, they could very well come back. I mean, what's yeah. stopping them not being put back in place? It's still there. It's still there to be put back in place if need be. Um, and <clears throat> I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm just watching the narrative. I'm just seeing, I'm just watching what's happening. Um, also, another key thing that I look at is what's happening in Australia. Mm. Like, yeah, I watch what's happening over there because we're only usually about mm, maybe five months at most, six months at a push behind. So if they still dropped, we will still drop. When shit ramps up in Australia, be prepared. Like, yeah. so that's how I've been gauging a lot of stuff as well. Um yeah. That's a good way so, to do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, because it's 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 interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll we'll actually leave that for another time. <laughs> <laughs> another hour and a half. Oh, I know. We could just, like I said, this is there's so much happening. There's so many layers. But this episode was to introduce the new face that is going to be the beautiful face, I should say, that's going to be oh, alongside me through this venture. Um, and like I said, Alina's going to be popping in from time to time. Um, and we are going to be talking about everything here, spirituality, um, you know, our lives. And the whole awakening is like the main reason why we're here, because we want to help navigate people through these times of change, because there is something big happening. And if you can't see it, I feel sorry for you because we it's the greatest show on earth right now you know fuck will smith slapping chris rock if you don't know what's happening in the world you know that these to me are just all distractions oh yeah, yeah. big distractions and look how easily everyone was distracted about that oh, by the way crazy yeah hey, every second meme yeah and, uh, and even the news the media hey so when you know the media is like really into that you know, whatever's happening, you know that it's a distraction. So when everyone's looking this way, what's going on over here? Well, um, I was reading that Biden was signing some contracts or something, signing something off in the Ukraine, you know, while that was happening. So 
I'll have to do a little bit more digging into that to verify. Like, like I said, like on this show, don't take what we say as fact, you know, yeah. always research what we say, people, and come to your own conclusion. We are not here to convince you that we are right. We are here to merely voice our opinions um, yeah. because, like I said, no one is, not many people are talking about what we are speaking about and this narrative needs to take place. So we're going to continue doing this and we, me and Alicia will be meeting again next week. Um, we don't know the topic just yet because things keep changing, right? So <laughs> we're just going to um, go back to the drawing board and see what, fuckery happens in the next week or so a few days or so and come back with something <laughs> something's always happening yeah 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 oh well I just want to say thank you so much like um this is the first time I've ever done something like this um and yeah no it's just great just you know being a part of it um being able to have you know my my sort of space as well where I can just vent out and just have a great old conversation with you and um yeah and I fill in for Elena because I like I've known Elena for a couple of years now so it'd be really good to see when she's um all back on board and oh absolutely it'll be cool I feel like we'll be like we're gonna be like triple triple <laughs> the three of us it's such a cool space and I'm so grateful to have you here and share your story and to our viewers let us know in the comments if you you know if there's something that you'd like to see us discuss you know we want to try to engage with you as much as we can so much love to everyone watching this week and we will see you on the next one. Kakite. Bye. <laughs>